Jobber's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step. There's an excellent combination by Crusher. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Crusher's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. You got this one. Step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Halfway through this round, Crusher's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Hunting with the left. Failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. What? Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. You're okay. Scores well for him. With the body. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Crusher's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. And he comes right back with a headshot. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A sharp jab by Glover. Good one, too, by Crusher. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. A little head hunting with the right. It is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time, he's going to capitalize on it. Watch right hand to the head. On the mark with the hook after blocking that shot. Good 
solid right hand by Crusher. Crusher's landed a good, solid combination. Hello! Lubber's right hand scores well that time. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Halfway through Keep round moving. 10. Keep moving. Good exchange, he fires back. Crusher's putting his punches together now, that's a nice combination. Keep it going. Now a well-placed hook to the head. Flubber's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Nice block by Clubber. Rushers putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Come on, Counting down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Rushers so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. And round 10 comes right. to an end. You have to keep your hand up. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches. Jab, jab. Oh. Rusher's been damaged in this fight. That's the bad news for him. The good news for him is that Teddy, starting this 11th round, you have it dead even on the scorecard. And the real good news for him, Joe, is he's gotten past the Rapids. You know, he's gotten past those rocky moments. And now he has to feel real good, real confident at the right time. Good start to this round, much like the way he finished the last round. Well, he's taking advantage of that. And give him credit for thinking about that. He realizes that his opponent might still be a little dazed. So he's not giving him a chance to recover. He's testing him again. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Blocks the headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And now he's targeting upstairs. Able to dismiss that body shot. Crusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Clubber's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to the block. He did it there well. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Rusher's taking a rest between. This is where a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell him you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead even fight. Win the rest of these rounds. Well placed right hands from both men. Look at that combination by Crusher. Crusher's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Good scoring counter punch by Crusher. Big shot comes in. A good knifing punch. That back power hand just 
score the knockdown. This is it. He's going after it right now. His man's been down. Now he's trying to get rid of him. Well, this is a situation where use the jab, control range, don't get carried away, use the fundamentals, and get the knockout that way. And now he scores well with a straight right. Crusher's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Lands punches and bunches. The combination lands. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Glover's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. was a highly competitive back and forth bout. Now let's hear which way it went. was a sure and steady effort by Crusher tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win.